But if you close your eyes Hello everyone and welcome to part 2 of my how to make a simulator tutorial series. In this part I will be showing you how to reward players points when they click while having a tool equipped. So to start out we're going to have to add a tool into the game. So first I'm just going to build this tool. I don't know what it mine I'm just going to make it um I don't know. Just almost like a I'm just going to make it a kind of looking like a phone. Not really, just like a blank part. You can change this part and make it look however you want. You can build a model. No, oh, yeah, I'll build a weight real quick. I'll build a weight just because a weight lifting simulator is kind of like a very basic simulator and it's really quick and easy to build a weight. So, smooth plastic. Oh, that's not what I wanted. Oh. Black. Make this bigger. Let me scale that down a bit. Try to get up and over. Just trying to center this the rest of the way. There we go. Now I'm just going to um, drag this across. This now I'll make the handle at the part that the player will actually hold on to. Uh, put that there. Oh, that's not centered like that at all. That over there we go. That looks better. Make this like a silver color. I think I might make this a little bit smaller. Drag this up. Duplicate it. Drag it across. So once you have your model built, what your tool will look like. You're going to want to select all the pot parts, go to the model tab in the upper left and click the union button. This will make it all one part. Now you're going to have to right click this part in the explorer, click a rename and name it to handle. Now I want you to go to starter pack, click the plus icon next to starter pack and insert a new tool. Rename this tool to whatever you want. I'm going to name mine weight. Now drag your handle inside your tool. Now, I'm going to use a plugin to enter the, edit the grip called Tool Grip Editor. I will leave the link to this plugin in the description. My grip's already pretty much how I want it to be, so I'm not really going to edit it at all, but I'll still leave the link to the plugin in the description. It allows you to like just turn on the plugin and edit how, your, how the character will be holding the tool. Alright, so turn that off. Now, I'm going to want to go over to replicated storage and add a new remote event and call this reward points. Now go to the back to our weight, click the plus icon and insert a new vocal script. Then in this local script type local tool equals script dot parent local db is equal to false and then go back to our tool add a plus icon search for int value insert a new integer value and rename this to points added now say local pa is equal to tool dot points added dot value. Now we're going to say tool dot activated colon connect function open bracket close bracket end close bracket. Now we're going to want to say if db is equal to false then game dot replicated storage dot reward points colon fire server and then in the brackets put PA go back up here say DB equals true then below that DB wait one 
db equals false. If you need to, just pause the video and look at the script and type what I typed. If you can't get the script because you can't read it because it's too small or something, I'll have the source code to the uncopy lock game that you can go and edit and take any scripts you need in the description. Okay, now go add a new script in server script service and call this reward points. And now say game dot replicate storage dot reward points dot on server event going connect function plr pa. <clears throat> now say plr dot leader stats dot points dot value plr dot leader stats dot points dot value plus pa. Now click the play button to test your game. Now you should have to wait and when you click oh, points oh, okay. Go back into your local script and where we said PA equals tool dot points add dot value, make it say local PA equals tool colon wait for child points added dot value because we have to wait for the child to load because points added hadn't loaded yet. I don't know why this is showing up for me. It's a plugin I've installed to change the base plate. I have to get rid of it. <clears throat> leader stats is not. Oh, I spelled leader stats wrong. <clears throat> well, yours should be working fine unless you made the same mistake I did. Where right here, I spelled leader stats incorrectly. <clears throat> now I'll click play. What is going on here? One second, let me go look through this code. <clears throat> oh, that's why. We have to go to our points added <clears throat> and change the value to however much we want to give. I want to give one per click. So don't forget to go into your weight, go to your points added, and then change the value in the properties tab to however much you want to give per click. All right, see now it works. Now when we click the screen, <coughs> it will give us one point every time we click with a cooldown of one. All right then. That's it for part two. In the next video, I will be showing you how to add animations to your weight so that you can show the player lifting the weight and also how to make a GUI pop up saying how much was just given to the player. <clears throat> I hope you all enjoyed and I'll see you in the next video.